website that you're living in the beautiful Halifax. Yes, yes. So I'm out here on the east coast of Canada in Halifax. It's, what brought uh, what brought you there? Is it technology or love? A uh, combination, I guess. I originally went out here for uh, undergrad from the university, electrical engineering. Um, and yeah, I really liked it out here, met someone as well, so I've basically just stayed. And you have your own company? And I'm actually finishing a PhD right now as well. Okay. And so as part of that, sort of spun out a small company to commercialize some of my research. Okay. And and I, I've, I've been exercising to pronounce the name of your company right, but I'm, I'm <laughs> constantly doing it wrong. Is it New We or New Why? Or no, new... <laughs> it, that's always a, a joke. To, new AE. So, so you're doing a PhD? Well, what is your PhD on? Uh, embedded hardware security. So okay. this is, and this is what sort of the company I do uh, as well. Yeah. Primarily, so it's stuff like uh, you know the classic example is chip and pin credit card type thing. But really, I'm looking a lot more at more consumer electronics. Um, so stuff like Internet of Things. So I have a talk at Black Hat on the Philips Hue system and diving into that security. Well, I have a ripped apart bulb here, so there's one I'd okay. take apart. Uh, but, you know, it screws into the socket and you can communicate with this bulb. Uh, but at the core of it, there's just like an Atmel uh, Mega RF. You're also having a product which is called the Chip Whisperer. So, yeah, this was the the Chip Whisperer Lite. And basically it was designed to be a, a cheap, like $250 board. And it's all open source, too, so people can build their own. Uh, and the idea was that you can use this to learn about these types of attacks. And with, with these types of attack, you mean more the side channel attacked. Yeah, exactly, the side channel Can, can, can so, you explain your own word? Because I'm not sure if a lot of people are familiar with this sort of attack. Yeah, so uh, the, the basic idea is that if you, you know, if you have a microcontroller, you have anything, um, internally it has a bunch of bus lines. Uh, it physically takes power to set some of those data bus lines high or low. You know, if you put FF, you're setting all the data bus lines high. At the instant you do that, the clock cycle you do that, it takes more power than if you set the data bus lines all low. What is the resolution of that analysis? There's a really nice graph. Sort of, it's just a linear graph that says, you know, here's the power consumption at an instant time. Here's the Hamming weight, the number of ones in the data bus. You can do more advanced attacks that can sort of reveal, you know, based on characteristics of the specific chip. What 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 is your next step? I'm pulling it the Chip Whisperer Pro. So this board was designed to be sort of hand assemble. You can see, you know, it's got the TQFP package uh, yeah. packages on it. And uh, the next step is a more advanced more one. Advanced. So I can actually show you a, a version of it running here. Um, so it, it adds. There's a whole touchscreen interface board, but the the back end is that same FPGA board I was showing before. So so when we did the Kickstarter, this one we ordered a thousand of them, and that was basically the Kickstarter uh, money allowed us to fund a really big production order that we never, you know, never would have been able to do. What is your experience with the Kickstarter project? Uh, mine was good. So you really have to think about what sort of time commitment it's going to end up with. But yeah, well, as soon as you're doing Kickstarter, and really I guess when you're running your own business you spend a lot of time not doing engineering work. <laughs> All right, again, well, thanks very much, yeah.